Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So we have a fun video here. We have the Clamination into the night palette and this actually was not a pre-order super excited so come on in you know i got three looks for you let's go ahead and get started hey guys this is ashley welcome on back to my channel so as i just mentioned we are here talking about the Glaminatrix into the night palette it is gorgeous so huh, i will tell you my thoughts and feelings on it in just a second but let me go ahead and introduce myself before i get carried away so if you're new here welcome and if you're only goodie, welcome on back my name is ashley i have a doctor in pharmacy and i love makeup so that's how you get Dr. Ash and her makeup but please just call me ash or ashley and eyeshadow is my jam it is one of my most favorite things to talk about so, as I mentioned, I have the Glaminatrix Into the Night palette. I've been rocking with Glaminatrix for like the past couple of years. Definitely been picking up all their releases. Maybe not some of the single shadows, but I saw this palette and I was like, it's beautiful. And then I saw the palette and I was like, I don't know. Because, you know, truthfully, I only like from here on. But the silver was like, uh, it really wasn't my biggest. I'm not a big silver shadow type of person. I used to be back in the day, but I'm not anymore. And then I just didn't know about the neon shades, but that's never scared me. But it was just the fact that I was only really probably feeling like five out of the 10 shades. But I'm here to report different when I put my looks together and I have three looks for you that I feel a lot different. So this is pretty big deal for the brand, okay? The brand actually did this palette as a release. Like, literally, you ordered it, and it came out. So I got this palette the first week in May, and it took two weeks to ship. It was shipped out immediately. Then you say two weeks to ship. They're in Australia, okay? So if you're not familiar with the brand, this is a female-owned brand, iffy brand, one owner, like, basically one, one employee, and she's out of Australia. So that's why it took two weeks to get. But I feel like it was a big deal for the brand to release this particular product and not have it be a pre-order because that means she's growing. She's able to reinvest into her brand and get product out quicker. Usually products have a pre-orders because they need the capital to produce the product. So while that is super annoying for the consumer standpoint, and sometimes it takes months on months, and one time it did take a very long time to receive one of the palettes, the nocturnal palette, but I still love that palette. But, you know, they need the content. They need the, <laughs> the capital, excuse me, in order to make these products happen. So this product, like I said, she was able to release it without a pre-order. And she said a lot of things going forward might be able to be that way too. So I feel like that is really exciting and kudos to the brand. So this palette actually retails for $56.45. Now, right now it is sold out. And she did do a restock that's going to ship between June 5th and June 10th. And that is sold out as well. And I believe she's going to do one more restock according to her Instagram. So if you are curious about this palette, definitely go ahead and follow the brand over at Glaminatious Cosmetics over on Instagram because you get a lot of news about what's happening, what's coming out, and everything like that. Now, as far as this palette, it's called the Into the Night Palette, and it says the Into the Night Palette is a vegan and cruelty-free palette that it rich, features 12 highly pigmented shades, okay? It says enjoy rich, lasting color, perfect for our night out or everyday look. I feel like this look is definitely giving every day, and I definitely did some nighttime looks, and from what I have experienced about Glamour Nature Cosmetics, that they are definitely long-lasting quality shadows. So this palette actually has seven matte eyeshadows. It has a pressed matte pigments, three sparkly dual chrome eyeshadows, two extreme metallic eyeshadows. So definitely I would say that our extreme metallics would be the shade that's called Top Shelf. That is very extreme and metallic -y. And the shade After Dark, which I do actually have in my inner corner right at the moment. And then we have the dual chrome shades like On the Rocks and the shade that's called Bustling and Happy Hour. Very pretty, you know, sparkly shades. The mattes are just beautiful. 
Some of them are very unique, I feel like, to my collection, even with me having a larger makeup collection. So the palette is actually magnetic, okay, if you're like one of those people that like to create your own palettes. And the pans are 26 millimeters, and they hold between 1.5 to 2 grams of product per pan. And the pans are magnetized and not glued in, once again, and they can be easily re re uh, rearranged. You can put them in your own Z palette, okay? And then it's also saying that for the pre-orders, they have capped it. So people don't want to miss out, but they're also going to be restocked and pre-orders with the next shipping. So like I said, just go ahead and check out the Instagram. So I have three looks for you. The palette is so gorgeous. So let's go ahead and jump on in. All right, let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to pull you in closer. I have my eyebrows filled in using my Groove Proof Pencil, shade 3.75. I also have my eyelids primed using my MAC Paint Pot in the shade Contemplate Estate. It is the perfect color for my skin. So let's go ahead and get started.
All right, I am back and here are the first two looks and I am really so pleased about how they came out. So I am really trying to figure out which eye I like most. Uh, at first, I don't know if I like this eye. I liked it, but I'm like, oh, and I'm in love with this eye. It's so ethereal. That shade, uh, let's see. Chaser blended out really, really pretty. And I uh, wanted to go ahead and put this shade Happy Hour. Ooh, ooh, look, let me not put my fingers in it like I usually do. Okay, Happy Hour right here. And I wanted to use it by itself to see like what type of pink we got because it was definitely reading like peachy pink when we put it next to our shade Top Shelf, which is also a really gorgeous foil metallic with a lot of sheen. And I did not use a glitter glue on that particular shade. Now I did use a glitter glue for the shade Happy Hour because I was dispersing it mostly over the whole lid and I wanted to catch and just kind of stay on. The shade is a tiny bit flaky, but not too flaky. So it does spread out very well, but it gives just a nice ethereal look. And then how I almost didn't do it, but I was like, let me just go ahead. And I put in a little bit of bustling. And this is just a gorgeous, gorgeous blue. And I just love how it came out. Every The matte chaser blended out really well. I wanted to go ahead and add in a little bit of hot pink because I was just like, whoo, these neon shades, even though I know how to use them, they just really weren't calling me in the palette, but they really worked out to blend out this particular shade. I, I wanted to go ahead with Moonlight. And actually, this and this and this will probably be a really great combination as well. But... <laughs> like I said, I'm not too, I wasn't in love with this, this little quad of the palette. So I definitely wanted to put it to use. So I definitely felt better about it. This pink is absolutely really, really gorgeous. Really pretty fuchsia. It kind of reminds me of the fuchsia from the Moonfall palette. I'm going to grab that in a second because yeah, my setup is different. You normally I would just like reach down here, but ciao. Where is Moonfall? Is Moonfall like right underneath me? I'm not even sure. <laughs> okay, but I'll grab it in a second. And the other two mattes also, Nightlife and Cox. No, I did Nightlife. It blended out really well. It's also So I really enjoyed the look. I went in with uh, a newer foundation for me. This is the Luminous Silk by Giorgio Armani. I picked this up with the uh, sale, the VIB sale. This is the shade 8.75. I feel like it's a really great shade. And then I went in with the matching concealer in the shade 7.5. For my bronzer, I went ahead and took my minted bronzer. I'm like, okay, I did. <laughs> so this is the minted cosmetics bronzer and I am working on finishing it up and this is in the shade vacay and for my blush i went ahead with my pat mcgrath blush in the shade um cherish and I, as you can see i have used her quite a bit because the flower emblem is definitely starting to disappear on it and for the highlighter i went in with this adept cosmetics palette with this catch yourself white and did the pink since i have the pink here so i used the shade vorta which is more of a cream uh, base highlighter, but what's great about it is that the base of it is translucent, so you don't get that white cast. And then I put a little bit of founder on there. So it, founder is, is a powder, but it's like a rainbow, but more of a uh, pastel rainbow. And mixed it in, went in with one of my favorite lip combos, which is the Blends Bunny Cosmetics Liquid Matte Cream with the shade Dowhouse with the matching lip liner, and they come together. So, hmm. I might do, I don't know, I'm not going to film anymore tonight. So we're going to do this in a couple of sections. I'll, my plan is to film the remainder tomorrow, but um, I definitely want to play with these three. Oh my gosh. Or even just like that would be so bomb. And then maybe even, like I said, do something. I don't know. I'm going to figure it out. And then we definitely have this silver after dark was pretty but I don't think I am the biggest silver eyeshadow person I'm starting to realize this about myself even though I'm like oh they're pretty but yeah I don't know but I am loving this so far the quality really really great really pretty everything's blending so well so 
Yes. I will see y'all in a little bit. All right, I'm back. Let's go ahead and do one more look. Once again, my eyelids are primed with my matte contemplated state. I put it up. So, of course, it's the same color. And we're going to play with these little murkier shades, the shades I've really been wanting to play with in this palette. So, this half. And I don't know, maybe we'll incorporate the blue, but I'm definitely going to see what this shade is all about. That is on the rocks. It looks really, really gorgeous. <laughs> Yeah, I don't wanna slow down, I don't wanna slow down, I don't wanna slow down till I burn out. I just wanna live fast, I don't wanna look back and say I could have done more than I did not. Sometimes it can be hard, yeah, it can be hard, yeah, it can be hard when you grow up. People fill you with doubt, you start thinking about what you're gonna do now. But we only go one chance and go one life to live. And it's do or die, gotta make it count, so lose your way. Let your problems go on Until my whole body burns out I ain't never gonna slow down I'm on fake friends I just wanna get high I just wanna get high I just wanna get higher Sometimes people will try to hold you back From being who you want to Don't be questioning why Do whatever feels right Find your passion and fight Cause we Only got one chance And got one life to live And it's do or die Gotta make it count So lose your worries Let your problems go on Until my whole body burns out I ain't never gonna slow down greens played so nicely they blended out so well so I definitely used the shade cocktails went in with the shade showbiz and then I decided oh let's just try to deepen it up and see what effect we can get which I really do like with the shade nightlife this purple and this multi-chrome or I don't know if it's necessarily a dual chrome per se but it definitely has you know, shifts of another shade that has the pink sparkles in it. It is gorgeous. And it's the shade called On the Rocks. So I thought I, I did say kind of I might put in the, the bustling shade, but I didn't. But I really enjoy this look. And I decided to pop the shade After Dark, the silver shade, in the inner corner, which I think looks really good. Because I'm not, like I said, such so much of a silver across the whole lid type of girl. But... I'm living for this look. It looks so good. It looks so flawless. The shimmers are just so good in this palette. I did not need to use the glitter glue with any of them except for happy hour. And only that's because I probably didn't have to, but you definitely want to wet it. But it's not a super sticky formula, but it definitely needs something if you're going to glide it across the whole eye to give that pigmentation off. Um, overall, I'm really happy with this palette. I'm really glad that I purchased it because I saw it and I was like, oh, it's pretty. And then I was like, oh, I'm not going to get it. And then I was like, well, I do really like this half of the palette, but that's six out of 10 shades. And I was like, well, I know I'll probably like this shade and I'll probably like this shade, but I wasn't so sure about the neons. But just knowing what I know about neons, I was like, well, I can use these to blend this out. And I feel like this part of the palette is just really unique. Like, I don't have a whole lot of shades that are the shade Nightlife. And I really tend to like shades like that. Also, the shades Cocktail 
is pretty unique. But the shade that's really most unique to me is the shade Showbiz. Really, really pretty, mossy, deep type of green. The the mattes blended out so well. Mm, I just don't even have a complaint about it. The shimmers were shimmy. The mattes were matting. Everything just blended with ease. And it was just really a pleasure to work with this palette. And I feel like you can really come up with some really great color combinations. So that is the Into the Night palette by Glamination's Cosmetics. And definitely is a little bit bolder with the packaging. And you have the emblem this time around. We didn't have that with the other palette. But I just... I I really appreciate it. So I'm glad I picked it up. So I probably, I will plan on using it again. I'm definitely going to uh, talk about it when I do my palette rankings. I'm definitely behind because I haven't even talked about the old Old Design collection where they had the uh, collab with um, Makeup Just for Fun and um, I picked up Lauren May Beauty's palette. But uh, I'll throw them in there just so you know my thoughts. And then of course we have this. This is the first palette back. And then I also have the Catch Yourself White. Um, and then, oh, I do have some Ace Beauty palettes, and I'm waiting on the Seahorse to arrive. So the Seahorse said it would be here Saturday, but it'll be here hopefully maybe today, Monday, maybe Tuesday. So let me talk about my face details. Pretty much the same as in the previous looks. But with this particular look, I did get a little sun yesterday. So I was like, hmm, my complexion is starting to look a little warmer again. So I went in with my Giorgio uh, Armani Luminous Silk Foundation, but I put a couple of dabs of the House Labs in there. The House Labs can be really, really warm. It does oxidize down, but it's still really warm. So I just did a couple of dabs and mixed the two together, and I think the combination looks perfect. I also went in with my Armani Concealer, the Luminous Silk Concealer in shade 7.5. And then the uh, the foundation is actually shade 8.75 for the Armani. And the House Labs foundation, I wear shade A42. So, yes. And then I went in with my Juvia's Place bronzer right here. And this is the shade 10. It's a duo. I actually mostly just took the lighter shade. And then on my cheeks, I took a little bit of the deeper shade as well. And then jumped in with my bare cheeks from Blend Bunny Cosmetics right here. And then I went in with the same kind of purpley shades that I did in the last look. I did a mixture of this. And then I went in with Catch Yourself White like I did before. But this time I did a little bit lighter number and I used founder on the face with a little bit of a brush. And just for a little subtle highlight that looks really pretty. It is iridescent and it kind of plays on the look that I have with my eyes. For the lips, I went in with my Flesh Fantasy uh, Lip, what is it, Lip Lust Gloss by Pat McGrath Labs. So that is the look, that is the palette. I'm really pleased with it. It is sold out at the moment, but she's she said she's gonna do one more restock. So I know the current restock that ships in June is already sold out, but then she says she's doing one more restock of it. So I definitely think you should check it out. I'm just really pleased with this look. So let me leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you think of it. Tell me what look was your favorite. This is one of my favorite looks. And then, hmm, did I like the monochrome, the more monochrome? I'm going to give it to the look on this eye with that burgundy and the blue, the little pop of blue with this. Because it was just, hmm. It was just immaculate. <laughs> like the blending was, I mean, it really blended out very well. So I'm going to give it to that look. So leave me a comment down below. Give this video a big old thumbs up. Hit the notification bell so you know when I come out with another video, which will be soon. And subscribe to my channel because you know I would love to have you here in my little makeup family. And with all of that being said, you already know what time it is. It's time for the chat dance. Chat dance. Ay, ay, ay. Chat dance. Mm, mm, chat dance. Hey. All right, y'all. Bye.